In this script, we will be counting down the 50 worst alcoholics in Hollywood history. These individuals have struggled with alcohol addiction despite their success in the entertainment industry. Now, it's up to our channel fans to vote and determine the ranking of these trouble stars. Let's take a closer look at the darker side of Hollywood and the individuals who have battled with alcoholism. Oliver Reed was an English actor known for his notorious drinking habits and public antics that often made headlines. Reed began his acting career in the 1950s and his talent and charisma quickly gained him a reputation as a promising newcomer. However, it was his off-screen behavior that truly set him apart from his peers. Reed was a heavy drinker and his love for alcohol was well documented in the press. He was often seen stumbling out of bars and nightclubs, and his drunken antics were a regular fixture in the gossip columns. Despite his behavior, Reed remained a popular and in-demand actor throughout his career with memorable roles in films such as Oliver and The Three Musketeers. Tragically, Reed's drinking habits caught up with him in 1999 while he was filming the movie Gladiator in Malta. After a day of heavy drinking, Reed suffered a heart attack and died at the age of 61. His death was a shock to the film industry and to his many fans who had long been fascinated by his larger-than-life persona. Reed's career and life were marked by his notorious drinking habits and public antics, but there is no denying his talent and impact on the world of film. His legacy lies on through his memorable performances and his enduring status as a true Hollywood wildman. Gail Russell was an actress who found herself in Hollywood against her will. She was discovered while attending college and was soon offered a contract with Paramount Pictures. Despite her reluctance, Russell began her film career and quickly became a popular leading lady. However, the pressures of Hollywood and the constant scrutiny took a toll on Russell. She began to rely on alcohol as a way to cope and her dependency grew stronger as her career progressed. Her alcoholism led to a troubled marriage and legal issues further complicating her life. Despite her struggles, Russell continued to work in films throughout the 1940s and 1950s. However, her addiction made it difficult for her to maintain a steady career, and she became known as one of Hollywood's worst alcoholics. Russell's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of fame and the pressures of Hollywood. Her addiction and personal struggles overshadowed her talent as an actress, and she ultimately passed away at the young age of 36 due to complications related to alcoholism. It's important to remember that behind the glamour and glitz of Hollywood, there are real people with real struggles. Russell's story serves as a reminder that success and fame do not guarantee happiness or freedom from addiction. Her legacy is a reminder of the importance of seeking help and prioritizing one's mental and physical health. Montgomery Clift, a highly regarded actor in Hollywood, struggled with alcoholism throughout his career. This addiction began as a coping mechanism for him a way to deal with the pressures and stresses that came with his fame. Cliff's alcohol use contributed to a significant car accident in 1956, which left him with severe injuries. This incident further exacerbated his reliance on alcohol, and his reputation on set became increasingly erratic. Despite his struggles, Cliff remained a talented and dedicated actor. However, his alcoholism made it challenging for him to maintain a steady and reliable work schedule. This unreliability, coupled with his increasingly difficult behavior, led to a strained relationship with both his colleagues and the film industry as a whole. Cliff's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of using substances as a means of coping with stress and pressure. His addiction had a significant impact on his career and ultimately his life. It serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking healthy and productive ways to manage the challenges that come with fame and success. W.C. Fields was a well-known actor who was famous for his disciplined drinking habits and humorous quips about alcohol. His career and personal life were both heavily marked by his relationship with alcohol. Despite his heavy drinking, Fields was able to maintain a successful career as an actor with his distinctive drunken persona becoming one of his most recognizable traits. Fields was known to have a very specific drinking routine and he was rarely seen without a prop glass of liquor in his hand. He often claimed to have a hair-trigger stomach and would drink constantly throughout the day to avoid feeling sick. Despite his heavy drinking, Fields was able to maintain a high level of professionalism on set and was known for his punctuality and dedication to his craft. Fields was also known for his quick wit and sharp tongue, and he often incorporated humor into his discussions of alcohol. He famously said, I spent half my money on gambling, alcohol, and wild women. The other half I wasted and always carry a flagon of whiskey in case of snake bite, 
and furthermore always carry a small snake. These quips, combined with his distinctive drinking habits, helped to cement Fields' place as a legendary figure in Hollywood. Despite his disciplined drinking habits, Fields' heavy alcohol consumption eventually took a toll on his health. He died in 1946 at the age of 66 due to complications from a stroke, which many believe was brought on by his years of heavy drinking. In conclusion, W.C. Fields' disciplined drinking habits and humorous quips about alcohol became legendary, marking his career and personal life. He was able to maintain a successful career as an actor despite his heavy drinking, and his distinctive persona became one of his most recognizable traits. However, his years of heavy drinking eventually took a toll on his health, and he died in 1946 due to complications from a stroke. William Holden was a highly regarded actor, known for his roles in films such as Sunset Boulevard and The Bridge on the River Kwai. However, his battle with alcoholism was a significant struggle in his life. Holden's drinking habits were well known in Hollywood, and it reportedly caused problems in his personal and professional life. Despite his success, he was often isolated and struggled to maintain relationships. Sadly, Holden's battle with alcoholism led to a tragic end. In 1981, he was found dead in his apartment at the age of 63. The evidence suggested that he had been dead for several days and empty liquor bottles were found near his body. His death was a stark reminder of the devastating effects of alcoholism and how it can impact even the most successful and talented individuals. Holden's story is a cautionary tale and serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking help when struggling with addiction. Judy Garland, born Frances Ethel Gunn, faced a troubled upbringing that would impact her for the rest of her life. As a child actress, she was pushed to perform by her mother, who controlled her diet and appearance. This pressure, along with long working hours and a demanding schedule, led to a reliance on prescription drugs to keep her going. Garland's addiction to drugs and alcohol would plague her throughout her career. She was known for being difficult to work with and often missed performances or arrived late due to her substance abuse. Despite this, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood and continued to land leading roles in films and on stage. Tragically, Garland's addiction would ultimately lead to her untimely death at the age of 47. She was found dead in her London home in 1969 with an empty bottle of sleeping pills nearby. The official cause of death was listed as an accidental overdose, but many speculate that it was a suicide. Despite her struggles, Garland's legacy as a talented actress and singer lives on. She is best known for her role as Dorothy in the classic film The Wizard of Oz and is remembered for her powerful voice and captivating performances. However, it's important to remember that her life was not a fairy tale and that her addiction and tragic death serve as a cautionary tale about the pressures and pitfalls of fame. Lee Marvin, the renowned actor known for his tough guy roles, struggled with alcoholism throughout his life. This struggle began as a way for him to cope with the traumas he experienced during his service in the Marines during World War II. Marvin was a member of the Marine Corps and fought in the Battle of Saipan in 1944. The horrors he witnessed during the war had a profound impact on him, and he turned to alcohol as a means of dealing with the resulting emotional pain. As the years went on, Marvin's alcoholism escalated and began to take a toll on his health. He suffered from a number of health problems as a result of his drinking, including liver damage and high blood pressure. Despite these challenges, Marvin continued to work, appearing in a number of iconic films such as The Dirty Dozen and Point Blank. Tragically, Marvin's alcoholism ultimately proved to be fatal. He suffered a heart attack in 1987, which was attributed to his long-term drinking. Marvin's untimely death at the age of 63 was a loss for both the film industry and his many fans. In the end, Lee Marvin's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of alcoholism and the long-term damage it can cause. It serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when dealing with difficult emotions and experiences. Joan Crawford, a highly influential actress during Hollywood's golden age, was known for her ambassadorship with the Pepsi Company. However, her relationship with the brand also highlighted her struggles with alcohol addiction. After marrying Alfred Steele, the CEO of Pepsi, Crawford became deeply involved with the company. She used her fame and connections to promote Pepsi at various events and even appeared in a few of their advertisements. In return for her ambassadorship, Crawford expected extravagant perks, including large quantities of alcohol. She would often demand cases of liquor and champagne for her personal use, showcasing her influence within the company. Despite her addiction, 
Crawford continued to work in the film industry, appearing in over 80 films throughout her career. However, her struggle with alcohol would eventually contribute to the decline of her career and personal life. Crawford's story serves as a reminder of the impact that addiction can have, even on those who seem to have it all. Despite her influence and success, she was unable to overcome her dependence on alcohol, highlighting the destructive nature of addiction. Roderick Crawford, the talented actor known for his powerful performances, struggled with alcoholism throughout his career. This addiction had a significant impact on his personal and professional life. Crawford's drinking habits were well known in Hollywood, and it often caused tension in his relationships. His heavy drinking led to frequent arguments and strained his connections with those around him. In an attempt to manage Crawford's addiction, while filming, production teams were forced to take unique measures. For instance, some sets would have a nurse on standby, whose primary responsibility was to ensure that Crawford's alcohol consumption did not interfere with the shooting schedule. Despite these efforts, Crawford's alcoholism still caused issues on set. There were instances where he would show up to work intoxicated, making it challenging for the production team to continue with the day's filming. Crawford's talent was undeniable, but his struggle with alcoholism overshadowed his accomplishments and left a lasting impact on his career and personal life. It is a reminder of how addiction can affect even the most successful and talented individuals in Hollywood. Richard Harris, the talented Irish actor, is unfortunately included in the list of the 50 worst alcoholics in Hollywood history. Harris's struggles with alcohol began during his early years, eventually leading to excessive consumption, erratic behavior, and severe health issues later in his life. Harris's experiences with alcohol started when he was a student at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. As a young man, he was introduced to the world of drinking, and it soon became a regular habit for him. Over time, his drinking escalated, leading to disruptive behavior that affected his personal and professional life. Despite his struggles with alcohol, Harris managed to establish a successful career in the film industry. He appeared in numerous films, including The Sporting Life, Camelot, and Harry Potter, and The Philosopher's Stone. However, his excessive drinking often caused problems on set, leading to delays and increased production costs. Harris's health began to suffer as a result of his excessive drinking. He was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in 1984, and his doctors told him that he needed to quit drinking to have any chance of surviving. Unfortunately, Harris was unable to quit, and he continued to drink heavily despite his diagnosis. Harris's erratic behavior and excessive drinking became more pronounced as he aged. In 2001, while filming Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, he caused a stir when he arrived on set drunk and began swearing at the director. Despite his behavior, the film's producers allowed him to finish the movie, but they decided not to renew his contract for future films. Harris passed away in 2002 at the age of 72 due to complications from Hodgkin's lymphoma and lung disease. His struggles with alcohol were well known in Hollywood, and many people believe that his excessive drinking contributed to his early death. In conclusion, Richard Harris's early experiences with alcohol led to a lifetime of excessive drinking, erratic behavior, and health issues. Despite his struggles, he managed to establish a successful career in the film industry, but his excessive drinking often caused problems on set. Unfortunately, his inability to quit drinking contributed to his early death at the age of 72. Spencer Tracy, a highly respected actor in Hollywood, struggled with alcoholism throughout his career. His battle with alcohol was so severe that it prompted MGM, his studio, to take action. They created a dedicated team to manage Tracy's addiction and help him maintain his career. Tracy's alcoholism was a well-known fact in Hollywood, and it caused him many problems both personally and professionally. Despite his talent and success, his addiction made it difficult for him to consistently perform at his best. MGM, recognizing the value of having such a talented actor on their roster, decided to intervene and provide him with the support he needed to get his addiction under control. The team that MGM assembled for Tracy was tasked with helping him manage his addiction and ensuring that he was able to fulfill his professional obligations. This included making sure that he arrived on set on time and was able to perform to the best of his abilities. The team also worked with Tracy to help him develop healthier coping mechanisms for the stresses of Hollywood and his personal life. Tracy's story is a reminder of the devastating impact that alcoholism can have on an individual's life and career. However, it also highlights the importance of seeking help and the role that support networks can play in helping someone overcome addiction. 
Despite his struggles, Tracy was able to have a successful career and leave behind a lasting legacy in the world of film. John Wayne, also known as the Duke, was a famous American actor known for his roles in Western films. However, his onset professionalism stood in stark contrast to his reputation as a heavy drinker off camera. Wayne's drinking habits were well known in Hollywood, and he had a reputation for being a mean drunk. His behavior while under the influence often affected his work and health, causing delays and problems on set. Despite this, Wayne was able to maintain his professionalism and deliver strong performances in his films. Wayne's drinking became a concern for those around him, as it began to interfere with his ability to work and maintain relationships. His heavy drinking also took a toll on his health, contributing to the development of several health issues, including cancer. Despite his struggles with alcohol, Wayne's contributions to the film industry are still celebrated today. His iconic roles and on-screen presence have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. However, it's important to remember that his alcoholism also had a significant impact on his life and career and serves as a reminder of the negative consequences that can come from excessive drinking. Orson Welles, a renowned figure in Hollywood, struggled with alcoholism throughout his life. This struggle began in his early years, due in part to a troubled family background. Despite his many accomplishments, including his groundbreaking work in radio, theater, and film, Wells' alcoholism had significant impacts on his health and personal relationships. As a child, Wells was heavily influenced by his father's love of alcohol, which led to a strained relationship between the two. After his father's death when Wells was only 15, he turned to alcohol himself to cope with the loss. This early introduction to alcohol set the stage for a lifelong struggle with addiction. Throughout his career, Wells' alcoholism was well known in Hollywood circles. Despite this, he continued to work prolifically in a variety of mediums. However, his excessive drinking took a toll on his health, leading to a number of hospitalizations and contributing to his early death at the age of 70. Despite his struggles with addiction, Wells is remembered for his many contributions to the world of entertainment. His innovative approach to storytelling and his unforgettable performances have left a lasting impact on the industry. However, his history of alcoholism serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of addiction and the importance of seeking help. In conclusion, Orson Welles' history of alcoholism began in his early years and continued to impact his health and personal relationships throughout his life. Despite his many accomplishments, his struggle with addiction serves as a reminder of the challenges that many face in Hollywood and beyond. His legacy continues to resonate with audiences today both for his contributions to the entertainment industry and for the lessons that his story can teach us about the dangers of addiction. Sterling Hayden, an actor known for his roles in films such as The Asphalt Jungle and Dr. Strange Love, had a complex relationship with his career and a significant struggle with alcoholism. Born on March 26, 1916 in Montclair, New Jersey, Hayden initially had aspirations of becoming a writer. However, he was discovered by a talent scout while working as a sailor and he soon found himself in Hollywood. Despite his success as an actor, Hayden often expressed his disdain for the industry and the artificiality of Hollywood. Hayden's true passion was seafaring, and he often found solace in the sea during his battles with alcoholism. He was an accomplished sailor, and even served as a captain in the Navy during World War II. In fact, Hayden's love for the sea was so strong that he once famously said, I'll continue to sail the seas as long as I have a boat and a body to navigate it. Unfortunately, Hayden's struggle with alcoholism was a constant theme throughout his life. His addiction often interfered with his career, relationships, and personal well-being. Despite his struggles, Hayden continued to work in Hollywood, delivering memorable performances in films such as Johnny Guitar and The Killing. Hayden's alcoholism was no secret in Hollywood, and many of his colleagues and friends were aware of his struggles. In fact, Hayden's addiction was so well known that it earned him a spot on this list of the 50 worst alcoholics in Hollywood history. Despite his struggles, Hayden remained a respected and talented actor until the end of his career. He passed away on May 23, 1986, at the age of 70, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a testament to the struggles of addiction. In conclusion, Sterling Hayden's life was marked by a disdain for acting, pride in seafaring, and a severe struggle with alcoholism. His talent and passion for the sea shone through in his performances, even as his addiction threatened to consume him. Hayden's legacy serves as a reminder of the challenges of addiction and the importance of seeking help and support. 
Robin Williams, the beloved actor and comedian, struggled with substance abuse throughout his life. While he was able to overcome his cocaine addiction, alcohol remained a challenge for him. Despite his personal battles, Williams left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment with his unique humor and captivating performances. His fans will always remember him for his brilliant work in films like Good Will Hunting, Mistress Doubtfire, and Dead Poets Society. The legacy of Robin Williams continues to resonate with people of all ages, and his contributions to the entertainment industry will always be cherished. Jackie Gleason, a name synonymous with humor and drinking in Hollywood. With a drinking capacity that was legendary, Gleason was known to indulge in alcohol, even during health issues. Despite the potential harm to his well-being, he humorously embraced his indulgence, making it a part of his public persona. Gleason's love for alcohol was no secret, and he often incorporated it into his comedy routines. He would frequently be seen with a drink in his hand, and his ability to consume large amounts of alcohol without appearing visibly drunk was remarkable. However, it was clear that his drinking habits were taking a toll on his health, and he faced numerous health issues as a Risu lieutenant despite the potential consequences. Gleason never shied away from his love of alcohol. He even joked about it in interviews, saying that he needed it to get through the day. His drinking became a part of his image, and he was known for it just as much as he was for his comedy. Despite his indulgence in alcohol, Gleason was a talented comedian and actor. He was best known for his role as Ralph Cramden in the popular TV show The Honeymooners, which aired from 1955 to 1956. He also had a successful career as a musician, releasing several albums and even winning a Grammy Award. Gleason's talent and humor made him a beloved figure in Hollywood, and his drinking only added to his mystique. His ability to balance his indulgence with his work and public persona is a testament to his strength and resilience. In conclusion, Jackie Gleason was a talented comedian, an actor who was known for his drinking capacity. Despite the potential harm to his health, he humorously embraced his indulgence, making it a part of his public persona. His talent and humor made him a beloved figure in Hollywood, and his legacy lies on to this day. Anne Margaret, the talented actress and singer, found herself struggling with alcoholism during her career. This struggle was partly fueled by an affair with the famous Elvis Presley, which added to the pressures she was already facing in her life. Anne Margaret's anxiety about her on-screen roles also contributed to her turn to alcohol. She often felt the weight of expectations and the need to prove herself in the competitive world of Hollywood. As she grappled with these challenges, she found solace in drinking, which eventually developed into a serious problem. Despite her struggles, Anne Margaret continued to work in the industry, delivering memorable performances in films like Carnal Knowledge and Tommy. Her talent and determination helped her to overcome many obstacles, but her battle with alcoholism remained a constant challenge. Thank you for joining us as we take a closer look at the struggles of Anne Margaret and other stars in Hollywood. It's important to remember that even those who seem to have it all can face significant challenges and personal demons. Bud Abbott, a well-known figure in the entertainment industry, struggled with alcoholism while also dealing with epilepsy. These issues had a significant impact on his professional life, particularly his partnership with Lou Costello. Despite these challenges, Abbott still managed to find success in the industry. Abbott's alcoholism was a serious problem that affected his personal and professional life. His epilepsy, which he had been dealing with since childhood, likely contributed to his turn to alcohol as a means of coping. The combination of these two issues created a difficult situation for Abbott and those around him. Despite his struggles, Abbott was still able to find success in the entertainment industry. He and Lou Costello formed a successful comedy duo, with Abbott often playing the straight man to Costello's comedic antics. Together, they starred in a number of popular films, including Buck Privates and Hold That Ghost. However, Abbott's alcoholism eventually took its toll on the partnership. It became increasingly difficult for him to remember his lines and perform at the same level as he had in the past. This led to tensions between the two men and ultimately the end of their professional partnership. Despite these challenges, Abbott continued to work in the entertainment industry, appearing in a number of television shows and films. He even reunited with Costello for a series of performances in the 1950s, although their partnership was never the same as it had been in the past. In the end, Bud Abbott's career in the entertainment industry was marked by both his successes and his struggles. His battle with alcoholism and epilepsy had a significant impact on his professional life, but he was still able to find success and leave a lasting mark on the world of comedy. 
Elizabeth Taylor struggled with alcohol addiction, but her honesty about her experiences encouraged many others to seek help. She received treatment at the Betty Ford Center, where she found the support she needed to overcome her addiction. Taylor's decision to seek help not only impacted her own life, but also inspired others to take steps towards recovery. Her openness about her struggles helped to break down stigmas surrounding addiction and showed that seeking help is a brave and positive choice. In addition to her personal battles with addiction, Taylor was also a passionate advocate for AIDS awareness. She used her platform to raise awareness about the disease and to provide support to those affected by it. Her dedication to this cause helped to bring attention to the crisis and to make a difference in the lives of many. Through her struggles with addiction and her advocacy for AIDS awareness, Elizabeth Taylor left a lasting impact on the world. Her honesty and bravery continue to inspire and help others, and her legacy lives on through the positive contributions she made to Hollywood and beyond. Leonard Nimoy, best known for his role as Spock in the original Star Trek series, struggled with alcohol addiction during the show's run. Despite the pressures of fame and the demands of his career, Nimoy managed to seek help and overcome his addiction after the show ended. Nimoy's struggle with alcohol was a private one, and he did not often speak publicly about it during his lifetime. However, in his later years, he became more open about his past struggles and became an advocate for addiction recovery. Despite his challenges with alcohol, Nimoy was a highly respected and accomplished actor with a career that spanned over six decades. In addition to his work on Star Trek, he appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions, and even directed several movies himself. Nimoy's portrayal of Spock, the half-human, half-Vulcan science officer, became one of the most iconic and enduring characters in television history. His logical and analytical approach to problem-solving, combined with his struggles with his human emotions, resonated with audiences around the world. After Star Trek ended, Nimoy continued to act and direct, appearing in a wide range of projects, from science fiction to drama to comedy. He also became a successful photographer, author, and musician. Throughout his career, Nimoy remained a dedicated advocate for recovery and spoke openly about his own experiences with addiction. He hoped that by sharing his story, he could help others who were struggling with similar issues. In the end, Leonard Nimoy's contributions to the world of entertainment and his advocacy for addiction recovery will be remembered for years to come. Despite his struggles with alcohol, he was able to overcome his addiction and lead a successful and fulfilling life. Anne Sheridan, like many other Hollywood stars, struggled with alcoholism. Despite the challenges she faced, she managed to maintain a successful career in acting. However, her battle with alcoholism was not always hidden from the public eye. There were instances where her addiction became apparent, but she still managed to find creative ways to conceal it. Sheridan's addiction to alcohol began in the 1940s during the height of her career. She began to rely on alcohol as a way to cope with the pressures of fame and the demands of the entertainment industry. Despite her addiction, she continued to work, appearing in numerous films throughout the decade. One of the ways Sheridan hid her alcoholism was by carrying a hip flask with her at all times. She would take sips from it throughout the day, allowing her to stay buzzed without anyone noticing. She also developed a reputation for being difficult to work with, often showing up to set drunk or unable to remember her lines. Despite these challenges, Sheridan remained a popular actress throughout the 1940s and 1950s. She starred in a number of successful films, including The Man Who Came to Dinner and King's Row. However, her addiction to alcohol began to take a toll on her health and personal life. Sheridan's addiction led to a number of health problems, including liver damage and malnutrition. She also struggled with depression and anxiety, which only fueled her addiction. Despite these challenges, she continued to work often using her acting as a way to escape from her problems. In the 1960s, Sheridan's addiction became more public. She was arrested for drunk driving on several occasions and was forced to enter rehab. Despite these setbacks, she continued to act, appearing in a number of television shows and movies. Sheridan's battle with alcoholism is a testament to the lengths individuals will go to conceal addiction. Despite her struggles, she remained a successful actress, proving that addiction does not have to define a person's life. Her story is a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when battling addiction. In conclusion, Anne Sheridan's struggle with alcoholism is an important part of her legacy. Despite her challenges, she managed to maintain a successful career in acting, becoming a symbol of proof. Dana Andrews, an accomplished actor, struggled with alcoholism throughout his career. 
This struggle often affected his behavior on set and caused issues in his personal life. In fact, in 1940, Andrews was jailed for driving under the influence, highlighting the severity of his addiction. Despite his talent and contributions to the film industry, Andrews' battle with alcoholism left a lasting impact on his career and personal life. It's unfortunate when anyone struggles with addiction, but it's particularly challenging when it affects someone as talented and beloved as Dana Andrews. Len Ford, a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden age, grappled with personal issues that significantly impacted his life and career. His relationships were often tumultuous, contributing to a growing drinking problem that would eventually take a toll on his health. Throughout his life, Ford was married five times, with his marriages marked by infidelity and separation. His first marriage to dancer Eleanor Powell ended in divorce in 1945, after four years of marriage, due to Ford's alleged affair with actress Kathleen Windsor. He then married dancer-actress B-movie star Evelyn Keyes in 1946, but they too divorced in 1959 due to irreconcilable differences. Ford's third marriage to dancer Cynthia Hayward lasted only three years, ending in 1963. His fourth marriage to actress and former model Jean Boz lasted from 1966 to 1984, and they had one son together. Finally, he married his longtime publicist, Sue Cameron, in 1993, which lasted until his death in 26. As for his drinking problem, Ford struggled with alcoholism for many years, which affected his health significantly. In the late 1980s, he was diagnosed with cancer and underwent chemotherapy, which exacerbated his drinking problem. At the time, he was living alone in a ranch in California, where he spent most of his days drinking and watching old Western movies. In 1991, Ford's son Peter staged an intervention at his father's ranch, inviting his siblings and a group of close friends to help. However, the intervention was unsuccessful, and Ford's drinking continued to escalate. In 1992, Ford was involved in a car accident, which resulted in a broken neck. He was rushed to the hospital, where he received treatment for his injuries, and was also diagnosed with kidney failure. Despite his health issues, Ford remained defiant about his drinking problem. In an interview with People magazine in 1993, he admitted to being an alcoholic, but insisted that he didn't need help. I'm not alcoholic. I just drink too much, he said, but I don't need... Errol Flynn was an Australian actor, best known for his swashbuckling roles in Hollywood films of the 1930s and 1940s. However, his lifestyle of debauchery and inventive alcohol consumption marked his reputation beyond his cinematic success. Flynn was known to be a heavy drinker, often consuming large amounts of alcohol both on and off the set. He was also notorious for his wild parties and numerous romantic conquests. His excessive drinking and partying led to several run-ins with the law, including charges of statutory rape, which were later dismissed. Despite his legal troubles and reputation for hard living, Flynn remained a popular actor and a favorite of audiences. He starred in a number of successful films, including Captain Blood, The Adventures of Robin Hood, and They Died With Their Boots On. Flynn's alcohol consumption was legendary, and he was known to have come up with inventive ways to imbibe. He was said to have once poured liquor into a hollowed-out apple and eaten it to avoid detection while on set. He also reportedly had a hollowed-out cane that he used to conceal alcohol. Flynn's lifestyle eventually caught up with him, and he died of a heart attack at the age of 50. Despite his premature death, Flynn's legacy as a swashbuckling hero and hard-living celebrity has endured. His name is still synonymous with a bygone era of Hollywood excess and glamour. In summary, Errol Flynn was a successful actor known for his swashbuckling roles and his lifestyle of debauchery and inventive alcohol consumption, which marked his reputation beyond his cinematic success. His heavy drinking and wild partying led to several run-ins with the law, but he remained a popular actor and a favorite of audiences. Flynn's legacy as a Hollywood legend continues to this day. Ava Gardner's life was characterized by an endless whirlwind of parties, relationships, and a love for alcohol. The glamorous movie star was known for her wild adventures and eccentric behavior, which often involved her favorite drink. Born in Grabtown, North Carolina, Gardner's stunning beauty quickly caught the attention of MGM scouts, leading to a successful career in Hollywood. However, her success was accompanied by a growing addiction to alcohol, which would shape her life both on and off the screen. Gardner's love for alcohol was infamous, and she often found herself at the center of many scandals and controversies. Despite this, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her vivacious personality and infectious energy. 
Her relationships were as colorful as her behavior, and Gardner was linked to many of Hollywood's leading men, including Frank Sinatra and Howard Hughes. These relationships were often tumultuous, fueled by Gardner's love for parties and her inability to resist the allure of a good time. Despite the challenges she faced, Ava Gardner remained a force to be reckoned with, both on and off the screen. Her wild adventures and eccentric behavior have become the stuff of Hollywood legend, and her legacy continues to inspire and entertain fans around the world. Throughout her life, Ava Gardner's love for alcohol was a constant presence, shaping her behavior and her relationships. Despite this, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her vivacious personality, infectious energy, and unforgettable beauty. In the end, Ava Gardner's life was a testament to the power of living life on one's own terms, for better or for worse. Her wild adventures and eccentric behavior will forever be remembered as a defining chapter in Hollywood history. Bela Lugosi, best known for his iconic portrayal of Dracula, struggled with severe addiction to both morphine and alcohol in his later years. This addiction led to a number of dramatic and dangerous incidents, causing concern for those around him. Lugosi's addiction began after he was introduced to morphine while recovering from an injury sustained during a stunt on the set of a film. He quickly became dependent on the drug, and his addiction only worsened when he turned to alcohol as a means of coping with the stresses of his career and personal life. Despite his addiction, Lugosi continued to work, appearing in numerous films and stage productions. However, his addiction often caused problems on set, leading to delays and safety concerns. His addiction also took a toll on his personal relationships, causing strain with family and friends. Lugosi's addiction reached a critical point in the 1950s when he was involved in a series of dramatic and dangerous incidents. He was arrested multiple times for drunk and disorderly conduct, and his behavior became increasingly erratic. At one point, he even threatened his own life while under the influence. Despite numerous attempts at rehabilitation, Lugosi was never able to fully overcome his addiction. He passed away in 1956 due to a heart attack, which was believed to have been brought on by his long-term substance abuse. Lugosi's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of addiction and the toll it can take on an individual's life and career. His struggles serve as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when facing addiction and the need for greater resources to be made available to those struggling with addiction. Talila Bankhead, a renowned actress, was notorious for her indulgence in alcohol and drugs. This excessive lifestyle took a toll on her health, leading to a decline in her physical well-being. Bankhead's addiction was so severe that it became a significant aspect of her identity, and her substance abuse was an open secret in Hollywood. Despite her struggles with addiction, Bankhead's talent as an actress was undeniable. She had a magnetic presence on stage and screen, captivating audiences with her wit and charisma. However, her addiction made it difficult for her to maintain a consistent level of performance, and her career suffered as a resource lieutenant as Bankhead's health continued to decline, she became increasingly reliant on alcohol and drugs. Her addiction became all-consuming, and she struggled to keep up with the demands of her career. Despite her best efforts, she was unable to overcome her addiction, and it ultimately contributed to her untimely death. Bankhead's last word has been remembered as codine bourbon, a poignant reminder of her struggle with addiction. Her life and career serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of excessive substance abuse in Hollywood, and her legacy continues to resonate with fans and industry professionals alike. Bankhead's story is a reminder that addiction can affect anyone, regardless of their talent or success. Her life and career serve as a reminder of the importance of seeking help and support when struggling with addiction, and her legacy continues to inspire those who are working to overcome their own battles with substance abuse. Rita Hayworth, born Margarita Carmen Cancino, was a highly celebrated actress and dancer in Hollywood's golden age. However, her later life was marked by struggles with alcoholism. Hayworth's drinking problem became particularly noticeable in the 1960s and 1970s. She would often be seen with a drink in her hand, and her behavior could be erratic and unpredictable. Despite this, Hayworth's fans remained loyal and continued to support her. One particularly memorable incident occurred when a fan attempted to help Hayworth with her drinking problem. The fan became concerned after seeing Hayworth's behavior at a public event and decided to intervene. They arranged for a rescue situation, hoping to get Hayworth the help she needed. Unfortunately, Hayworth was resistant to the idea of getting treatment for her alcoholism. She reportedly saw her drinking as a personal choice and did not want to be told what to do. 
Nevertheless, the incident highlighted the severity of Hayworth's struggles with alcohol. Despite her personal battles, Hayworth remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. Her contributions to the entertainment industry were significant, and she will always be remembered for her beauty, talent, and charisma. However, her story also serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of alcoholism and the importance of seeking help when needed. Audie Murphy, born in 1925, experienced a challenging upbringing marked by abject poverty. His early life was far from easy, and he faced many hardships that would have overwhelmed a lesser person. After enlisting in the military and serving in World War II, Murphy found it difficult to adjust to civilian life. The war had taken a significant toll on Murphy's mental health, and he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. To cope with the trauma and the painful memories that haunted him, he turned to drugs, alcohol, and gambling. His addiction to these vices was all-consuming, and he struggled to maintain control over his life. Despite his struggles, Audie Murphy was a hero in every sense of the word. He was a highly decorated soldier who had earned numerous accolades for his bravery and service during the war. However, his post-war experiences were a stark contrast to his military career. He became a prisoner of his own mind, tormented by the horrors he had witnessed on the battlefield. Murphy's addiction to alcohol and drugs was a constant battle that he fought for many years. He sought help and tried to overcome his demons, but his struggles continued to plague him. His addiction to gambling was equally destructive, leading him to lose vast sums of money and causing significant financial difficulties. In spite of his struggles, Audie Murphy remained a beloved figure in American culture. He was a symbol of courage and determination, and his legacy as a war hero endured long after the war ended. However, his story is also a cautionary tale about the devastating impact of addiction and the long-term effects of PTSD. In the end, Audie Murphy's life was a testament to the human spirit's resilience. Despite the many challenges he faced, he remained a beacon of hope and inspiration to those around him. His story is a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is always a glimmer of light and that with determination and perseverance, anything is possible. Gloria Graham, the renowned actress, faced tumultuous relationships and struggled with alcoholism throughout her career in Hollywood. However, her life took a significant turn when she was diagnosed with stomach cancer. Graham's private life was often marred by controversy, including a highly publicized marriage to her stepson, which added to her already negative reputation in the industry. Her struggles with alcoholism were also well known, and it was said that she would often show up to film sets under the influence. Despite these challenges, Graham continued to act in films throughout the 1950s and 1960s. However, her heavy drinking began to take a toll on her health, and she was eventually diagnosed with stomach cancer. This diagnosis prompted her to reevaluate her lifestyle and make significant changes, including giving up alcohol. Graham's decision to quit drinking was a turning point in her life. She became more health conscious and focused on her acting career. As a result, she experienced a resurgence in her career and was even nominated for an Academy Award for her role in the 1974 film The Laughing Policeman. Although Graham's struggles with alcoholism and personal relationships were well documented, her talent as an actress was undeniable. She will always be remembered for her captivating performances and her ability to bring complex characters to life on the big screen. In the end, Graham's cancer diagnosis served as a wake-up call, leading her to make positive changes in her life. Her story is a reminder that it's never too late to make a change and prioritize one's health and well-being. Jane Russell, the famous actress, struggled with alcoholism throughout her career. Her journey to sobriety began after a difficult experience. Russell was arrested for driving under the influence and spent time in jail. This event was a turning point in her life and motivated her to confront her past and seek help for her addiction. After her release from jail, Russell made the decision to re-enter the spotlight and share her story. She became an advocate for addiction recovery and used her platform to raise awareness about the dangers of alcoholism. Russell's bravery in facing her past and her commitment to helping others inspired many and helped to break the stigma surrounding addiction. Despite the challenges she faced, Jane Russell remained a successful and respected actress throughout her career. She will always be remembered for her talent and her resilience in the face of adversity. Her journey to sobriety serves as a powerful reminder that it's never too late to make a change and seek help for addiction. Robert Mitchum, the famous Hollywood actor, was known for his notorious alcohol-induced behavior. His struggles with alcohol were so well known that they became a significant part of his public persona. 
Mitchum's alcohol consumption was often the cause of chaos and disorder, particularly during film shoots. One notable incident occurred during the production of the movie Thunder Road in 1958. Mitchum, who played the lead role of a moonshine runner, had been drinking heavily during filming. His inebriated state led to a real altercation with a crew member, which was captured on camera and included in the final cut of the movie. The altercation was a result of Mitchum's erratic behavior, which had become a source of frustration for the cast and crew. Despite the disruption, Mitchum's performance in the film was highly praised, and he received critical acclaim for his portrayal of the troubled moonshine runner. Mitchum's struggles with alcohol were no secret, and he was often open about his addiction. In interviews, he would speak candidly about his battles with alcohol and how it had affected his life and career. However, despite his struggles, Mitchum remained a respected and beloved figure in Hollywood. In conclusion, Robert Mitchum's notoriety for alcohol-induced chaos was a significant aspect of his career. His struggles with alcohol were well documented, and his behavior often caused disruptions during film shoots. Despite this, Mitchum remained a highly respected and accomplished actor, and his performances continue to be celebrated by audiences today. Mary Astor, an accomplished actress, struggled with alcoholism for many years. Her battle with alcohol, which lasted for decades, was a significant challenge in her life. However, there was a turning point in 1949 when she decided to seek help and began her journey to recovery through Alcoholics Anonymous and Faith. Mary Astor was born in 1906 in California. She began her acting career as a child and quickly became one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Her talent in beauty earned her numerous roles in films throughout the 1920s, 1930s, and 1940s. However, despite her success, she struggled with alcoholism. Astra's battle with alcoholism was a long and difficult one. She started drinking at a young age, and her addiction only grew worse as she got older. Her drinking caused her to miss work, lose roles, and damage relationships with her colleagues and loved ones. Despite her struggles, she continued to act, appearing in films such as The Maltese Falcon and Meet Me in St. Louis. In 1949, Astor reached a breaking point. Her addiction had taken a toll on her health, career, and personal life. She decided to seek help and turn to Alcoholics Anonymous and Faith to begin her journey to recovery. With the support of awe and her faith, she was able to overcome her addiction and rebuild her life. Astor's journey to recovery was not easy, but she remained committed to her sobriety. She continued to act and even wrote a memoir about her experiences with alcoholism. Her story is a testament to the power of faith, perseverance, and the support of others. In conclusion, Mary Astor's battle with alcoholism was a long and difficult one, but she was able to overcome it with the help of Alcoholics Anonymous and her faith. Her story serves as a reminder that addiction can affect anyone, but with the right support and resources, recovery is possible. Humphrey Bogart was a well-known actor in Hollywood, but his excessive drinking often led to unprofessional behavior on set. His eccentric acts and health issues caused by alcohol consumption were often a source of concern for his colleagues. Despite his talent and success, Bogart's alcoholism negatively affected his work and relationships. His behavior served as a reminder of the destructive consequences that excessive drinking can have on an individual's life and career. Alan Lance struggled with alcoholism throughout his career, which was further complicated by various health issues. Lad's drinking problem became increasingly severe over the years, causing problems both on and off the set. Despite his talent and success as an actor, Lad's alcoholism eventually led to a tragic end. In 1964, Lad was found dead in his home at the age of 50. The official cause of death was an overdose of sedatives and alcohol. While it is unclear whether Lad's overdose was intentional or accidental, it is clear that his struggles with alcohol and health problems played a significant role in his untimely death. Lad's alcoholism had a profound impact on his career, causing delays and problems on set. His health issues, which included ulcers and other digestive problems, only exacerbated his struggles with alcohol. Despite his talent and charisma, Lad's personal demons ultimately overshadowed his professional success. Alan Ladd's story is a tragic reminder of the devastating effects of alcoholism and substance abuse. While Ladd's career was marked by critical acclaim and commercial success, his personal struggles ultimately led to his untimely death. Ladd's legacy is a cautionary tale about the dangers of addiction and the importance of seeking help when needed. In the end, Alan Ladd's career was cut short by his struggles with alcohol and health issues. 
His story is a reminder of the devastating consequences of addiction and the importance of seeking help for those struggling with substance abuse. While Ladd's talent and charisma earned him a place in Hollywood history, his personal demons ultimately overshadowed his professional success. Richard Burton, the Welsh actor known for his powerful voice and brooding presence, struggled with alcoholism throughout his career. His excessive drinking was well known in Hollywood and often affected his work on set. Burton's battles with alcoholism began in his early years and he was known to consume large amounts of alcohol daily. This pattern of drinking led to several health issues, including liver damage and addiction. Despite his struggles, Burton continued to work, appearing in numerous films and stage productions. However, his alcoholism took a toll on his professional and personal life. He often showed up to set intoxicated, causing delays and tension among the cast and crew. His relationships with co-stars and directors were strained, and his marriages, including his high-profile relationships with Elizabeth Taylor, were marked by his struggles with alcohol. Despite his challenges, Burton remained a respected and talented actor with a career spanning over four decades. However, his alcoholism remained a constant struggle, even leading to several stints in rehab. In the end, Richard Burton's battle with alcoholism was a significant aspect of his life and career, and his story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of excessive drinking. His legacy as a brilliant actor is marred by his struggles with addiction, but his work continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day.